Okay, even though the show is no stranger to pushing buttons, I should warn you this is going to be really touchy. Um, a few weeks ago, Canada's Governor General, Mikhail Jean, announced that one of the people to be awarded with the Order of Canada this year is going to be Dr. Henry Morgenthaler. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, Dr. Morgenthaler is the pro-choice crusader who is essentially responsible for abortion being legal in this country. Now, uh, regardless of how I feel about abortion, I had some serious reservations about Dr. Morgenthaler being given the award, because, well, not surprisingly, a lot of people are really outraged over it. Since people probably are wondering, I'm not personally comfortable with abortion when it's treated as casually as birth control. However, under other circumstances, like rape and a medical complication, I am fine with it, or at least I can live with it. In any event, since I'm not involved in the situation pretty much all the time, I don't feel I have any right to lecture someone on what they can do with their own bodies. Nor do I think that a minority of complete strangers have the right to dictate what the country as a whole can do based solely on their beliefs. I do my best to respect the beliefs of others, but I have a very hard time respecting people who think that society is going down the toilet just because abortion is safely available. Honestly, of all the things that are destructive to society, I'd start with far more pressing issues, such as the fact that millions of people in North America alone are starving, or how about the Catholic Church's track record for sheltering accused pedophiles, or a so-called justice system that ensures that murderers serve little prison time at all. Another way I'd like to respond to the belief issue is where it extends to people who insist that we should recriminalize abortion just because the Bible says that killing is wrong. First of all, by this logic we should criminalize the military, but I don't see many people talking about that. Second, even though the majority of Canadians are Christian, the last time I checked, the country is not a theocracy. In other words, regardless of what a person's beliefs are, they have no right to disrupt the lives of the general public just because of those beliefs. I suspect there would be a huge outcry if I were to get on a soapbox and demand that religion be stricken from this country, and rightly so. That attitude should go both ways. It is not only guaranteed in our Charter of Rights and Freedoms, but it is the Christian thing to do. It's called forgiveness. Now, as I said, while I don't dispute that Dr. Morgan Tyler has had a profound effect on Canada, for better or worse, I'm uncertain as to whether or not awarding him the Order of Canada is a wise move. The honest truth is that no matter how progressive this country tries to be, there is a sizable amount of people who will cry damnation whenever something contrary to their beliefs gets publicized, or at the very least they come off that way. Why it bothers me here is because, let's face it, if a woman wants an abortion badly enough, they are going to get it. Period. Excuse the pun. So by extension, if some of these zealots had their way, we'd be going back to the days where the only way you could get an abortion is to go into a back alley and basically uh, take your chances with a rusted coat hanger. Considering the extreme risk of infection, mutilation, and death, I find that much more immoral. Enough said.